Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here, and we are back for part two with... Cree Summer. Did you watch part one? If you haven't, you need to watch it because here comes oh, part yeah. two. Let's get buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Um, so, a different world. Yeah. I loved it. I loved Debbie Allen. I followed her everywhere. Um, that was such a groundbreaking TV show. Yeah. On so many levels. Um, and, I mean, Lena Horne and the people that were involved. It was incredible. Was what was that like for you, that experience? Well, the thing is, don't forget, I was like seven, uh, 18 years old. Mm. So it was really that age that I would have been if I would have been in college, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think any of us knew what we were up to at the time. You know, yeah. I just know that it was a trip to sometimes come to work and see Josephine for me, or Lena Horne or Robert Roundtree or just, mm -hmm. you know, the in the the incredible rich black history and talent that was on that show. I mean, we'd have guests like Lena Horne saying, you know, back in her day, they couldn't walk on that lot. Mm -hmm. You they wouldn't have been able to drive onto the front entrance. Wow. And now they have a, what a trip, beautiful man. dressing room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And someone mm -hmm. to come pick them up from the house. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't believe it. They'd never seen in their day or been a part of something that was created by a black man, executive produced by black women, written and written by black women, produced by black men and women, starring young black men and women. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, at, at, that, at that time, it was crazy. And not only, not only were we groundbreaking simply by being the color we were, but Debbie didn't stop there. It wasn't your average sitcom. We tackled everything, mm -hmm. date rape, uh, yep. age. We tackled racism. We tackled the Watts riots. We tackled so many things at the time that were just unheard of. And I still have a little, you know, I don't know. I still have a little bit of a shitty taste in my mouth. I think that that show never got the props it really deserved. Yep. I really do yeah. have a... Yeah. I mean, it had and, so much more that could yeah. have happened. And, and let's also acknowledge that we'd never seen so many well route so many... Uh, expressions of black life before. We used to just be this in everything. The head, neck, eye roll, I can't believe this cliche. Don't forget the finger. And don't forget this. <laughs> and you know, you have to understand as an entire race of people, that's bullshit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're so many things. Mm -hmm. We're all every kind of different thing. And so to finally see black people represented as the beautiful multi-layered people we are, it was incredible. Yeah. And I'm so proud that I got to be a part of it. And I made beautiful friends. I just have to say that that really was an incredible experience. Yeah. And I think I was very lucky. Very lucky. I mean, there are, you know, we had so many girls auditioning for that mm -hmm. part when Lisa Bonet left the show. And I just, yeah. I, heavens were looking down on me that day for yeah. sure. Well, and when so you, because cool. I was, when we were preparing to sit with you, I was watching. Uh, you know, a lot of different things, and, and, and watching some old episodes, and it's like, it's still so it still timely. Holds up. Like, it could absolutely reboot without yeah. missing a beat. Let's not forget all the young African Americans and young white people and other races that were inspired to go to college mm -hmm. after and go to university yeah. after seeing that show. Yeah. Maybe they'd never even considered it before. Yeah. And then they saw it and said, Is that what it's like? I'm in. Mm -hmm. It's so wonderful. I have so many cute people who come up to me and say, I want to go to Hillman. <laughs> <laughs> it was so great. So great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, when, when you think about your career longevity and the, you know, the success you've had, what do you think have been the keys? The keys to my success? Yeah. So much of it is luck, mm -hmm. honestly. So much of it is luck. Well, you've had one uh, hell of a I've good I've been a lucky life. girl. And Sitting next <coughs> to you at the <laughs> <best> slot machine. <laughs> you know what? And also so much of it is being yourself. Mm. It is the one thing, it's the one gift that every human being possesses is 
if you want to take it on, you can be yourself better than anybody yeah. else. Yeah. Did you, know? you make a conscious decision early on you know, to do that? Or? I think my parents were so bizarre. Yeah. You know, my father, Don Franks, went by the name Iron Buffalo. We call my mother Hellcat. My father never wore shoes. We lived in teepees and houses made of mud. We lived in a school bus. I started school in the fourth grade. Imagine the social anxiety of fitting mm. in with these, with these freaks for parents and coming into school. <laughs> so I always stuck out like a sore thumb. So at some point for survival, I had to say, you know what, I'm I mean. a freak, and I love it, and I'm going to embrace it. Mm -hmm. And the way the world is now, when you see the people fight, fighting for gender fluidity and people fighting to no longer be in all these awful confined boxes to define who they are, lesbian, yep. bisexual, mixed heritage, mm -hmm. Jewish, whatever. All these things are really starting to become a fucking drag for yeah. the people of this planet. Mm -hmm. And you see that the freaks are saying, we won't be defined like that. Yeah. We like, I'm a girl, Join but us. I like this. Yeah. I'm a boy, but I like to do this. And yeah. this is... I, I just bring it back to when you say what's made me so successful, I think it is just being yourself. You know, people always say, how can I get into voiceover? Mm -hmm. You know, I can do 18 voices. I say I can do about three, but I can act my ass off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I always bring me. Mm -hmm. You know, and because being successful is not just getting the job, it's getting along with people. It's feel, knowing and understanding of the tone of a room or, you know, so yeah, many different yeah, nuances. Yeah. And yeah. you can only do that by being yourself. True. I'm only interested in the person in the room that is the, who they are. Yeah. Not the group over there who are all the fucking same. Yeah. I don't have anything to do with them. I've already met them a hundred times. <laughs> yes. Like, who's that weirdo in the corner? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm going to go talk to them. Yeah, and then the next thing you know, <clears throat> that weirdo's winning an Oscar or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Because, yeah, you got to be yourself if you're going to be anything. Okay, so do you still audition for jobs? Or I do. You still do. I do. As a matter of fact, I gotta go home and audition for a job tonight. Aha! Yeah. So good. So I want to ask you something. Yeah. So now, because you're like you know this amazing Cree, so when you get an audition, is it, is it is it is it slash? Yeah. I'm not even gonna say it. Yeah. Um, is it for uh, animation mainly? My, I have two auditions when I go home today that I will put down on tape for, for animation? animation. Yeah. Okay. So give us the process, Cree's process yeah. of how you audition. When you look at it, how do you analyze it? it what do you deliver? With a picture. And when do you but say you don't I'm always done get a here? Picture, you go right. by. You, you yes. don't always get a picture. Right. You don't right. always get a picture. And they call me Amish 2000 because <laughs> I'm such a hippie and I'm a technotard, and I don't know how to finesse an audition and edit it and all that shit. I have right. to send it to someone to do that. So okay. the first thing I do is look at the picture, if I'm granted a picture. Right. And I say, oh, what do they look like? Oh, that's a weird jawline. Or look at that tongue. Maybe there's a lisp. That's a big ass tongue. Or, you yeah. know, whatever it is. Yep, yep. And that informs it. And then I, you know, I have changed in the past couple of years. I now probably read sides twice or three times. By the time I get to the fourth and fifth attempt, mm -hmm. it starts to get real shitty. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're over yeah, I'm overanalyzing. Yeah. I'm trying things. My voice is getting louder all yeah. of a sudden. You know what I mean? Like just weird things start yeah, happening yeah. that make it a little less mm -hmm. real and good. Yeah. So my audition process is becoming very fast now, I find. Because I usually feel that I'm gonna naturally get it in the first couple of takes or not. Mm -hmm. And then the nice thing is, as a cushion for me, a nice caveat, I'm so blessed, is that people know me well enough that if I probably don't knock it out of the park, they know they can get it from yeah. me. Yeah. If they give me a chance. You get a do -over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they also just know, like, I, I don't think, that's the other misconception about auditioning. People think you audition and you get the job because you're perfect for the job. Mm. That's such bullshit. I've been perfect for a lot of fucking jobs I didn't get. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's not that. You don't know what it is. Sometimes you walk in there and you just sound right. Yeah. Maybe yep. you take a shit acting. Maybe your audition is the worst fucking thing they've seen all day. But that sound of your voice is so good to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They say that's the one. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Maybe you go in and knock it out of the park. Yeah. And they go, that ain't the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, Some about when she walked in the room, she had a yeah. weird attitude. I don't mm. think I want to work with her for six fucking yeah. years. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you just absolutely. don't know. Yeah. Absolutely. You don't know. You yeah. mentioned something in one of your interviews that I heard before where you were talking about really knowing the sound of your voice. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. do you mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is <clears> I don't <throat> think people listen to what they sound like. I think 
and the reason I say that is because when people hear themselves back on tape, yeah. they all say that same thing. Ah. I didn't know I sounded yeah. like that. I sound like that. And that's why I say that. Okay. And, 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 and until you know what your voice sounds like, you can't be a voiceover actor. Yeah. You don't know what you, you can do with it. You gotta record yeah. the shit out of yourself and, and see. And listen and know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how you sound on tape. Yeah. Because I may think I'm doing something and it sounds so great, and then I play it back and go, oh my God, I missed every beat. Yeah. That didn't sound like anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so until you know that and master that, I always tell people who wanna be voiceover actors, you better read aloud all the time. Mm -hmm. Anything, the newspaper, the back of the cereal box, I don't care. Yeah. Read it aloud, get comfortable with your voice and get comfortable reading things cold that you've never seen before yeah. and making it make sense. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That you don't have to keep That's practicing. That's too easy because it just says if. Yeah. Well, it says, it, it says if, it's a question, it's a game, it's a journey, and now it's a book. Right? But you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. But if yeah. you've never done that, you go, oh, shit, uh, mm, now yeah. it's a game. I, yeah. I don't know yeah. what yeah. to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. But you can make anything sound like a storybook if you know how to use your voice. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know how to do that very yeah. well, I yeah. bet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that audition tip. You're just, welcome, uh, you everybody. Know, yes. um, when you're on the road, do you do auditions on the fly? I do auditions on the fly. On your Listen, iPhone man, or something? This is or? the best gig. Let's yeah. just talk about voiceovers. Yeah. It's the best gig in the world. It is. I can push maximum density. Yeah. I can be on my period looking like who shot John. <laughs> I can be any color, any gender. Yep. Yeah. And if I can make my voice sound like that, I can be, I can make an inanimate object come to life. I can be a white boy, I can be a white girl, I can be a rock, a couch, I can make anything, I can be anything, yeah. and it has mm -hmm. nothing to do with what I look like. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that. And yeah. the other thing I love about it is I can be on the road, and I can audition on the road. Yeah. I can do my job from anywhere. Yeah. I can be in a hospital bed, all I need is a computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can do my job. Yeah. Good for you, yeah, I love amazing. that. It's I amazing. love that you just yeah. embrace it so yeah, like, you know. it's so fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is, it took a lot of years for me to, really revere and acknowledge and be grateful for voiceovers, yeah. you know, because sometimes when you start doing something as a kid, you can be a bit of an asshole around it. You of don't course. have the appreciation right. and reverence. Right. You know what I mean for something? Because you got it as a kid and you got it because mm -hmm. you were lucky, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And then, but as I got older, it really started to dawn on me, especially spending so many years working on camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I'd leave Different World or have a break from Different World and go do cartoons, I'd be like, this is amazing. This is such a good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll never take it for granted yeah. ever no, again. No, it's a great job. Probably a great job for people like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Well, for and sure. it lets me do everything else I want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And obviously, there's ups and downs, and, um, you know, there's people watching that are maybe in the valley and maybe they're on the high. Like, how yeah. did you balance or. Do you have any kind of wisdom for so how funny. do you balance I was just having this dance. drunken conversation last night, actually. <laughs> my, my best friend is an actress, Tamara Taylor. She was just on a show called Bones for 12 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? It's a mm -hmm. long ass time. But just to you know, let you know how crazy actors are, you know, it's always the question like, I haven't worked in two months, you know. <laughs> Will I ever work again? <laughs> you know, yeah. and the thing I think you have to remember in this business is it is hills and valleys and ebbs and flows. And Listen, I'm like everybody else. I can, I have a shitty six months where ain't nothing happening and mm -hmm. I get scared. But what I always try to remember is the nature of this particular beast, which is any minute now I can get a phone call and my life will change. Yep. Mm -hmm. Any second yep. I can get yep. that call that says, yep. Cree, can you get over here to CBS Radford Studios and audition for such and such? And then or bam. you know what, we just want to give you a job. And you go, this job turned out to be Rugrats that ran for 25 fucking years. Mm. Like you don't yeah. know. Yeah. And that's the thing I feel like we have to be careful. Don't ever fuck with your faith. Hold that space that tomorrow a miracle's coming. Yep. Cause it is. Yep. Yep. Not for everybody. I ain't saying a miracle's coming if you're folding t-shirts at the Gap. That's not the nature <laughs> of your job. Right. Yeah. But the nature of this Maybe game, the miracle of a new t-shirt. It may be the miracle of a new t-shirt, but the miracle yeah. of this yeah. job is yeah. any day your life yeah. can change. Yeah. Yeah. True. Drastically. True. Drastically. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Harrison Ford always tells that story where he was a carpenter mm -hmm. yeah. and he got the call and then he was Han Solo. Right. <laughs> and that's <Yeah>. it. <laughs> kind of working yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. We have to know. Yes. First of all, I'm, how many times did I watch it? 5,000. Save Your Soul. Oh, Save Yourself. Oh. Save, oh, save yourself. yourself. Save Yourself. Okay. Yeah. The song, Save Yourself. Um, oh, the video. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Save Yourself, oh. you have to watch it on YouTube, you guys. 
Um, it's a great video. It's a song I wrote with Linda Perry. So incredible. And, Are you uh, going to do more music? I am. Actually, <gasps> right now, I'm just Yay. recording an EP. Fantastic. And I actually think I am going to re-record Save Yourself and I, do that you song. Have what an to. amazing oh song! Oh my gosh! Grace. Yeah, that was. I, you know, I was. I was. The world I, was needs I was dying that. when I wrote that song. But I was hanging on really? as Charlie Adler's famous line by a mosquito contour. I was hanging on. It's a very thin. <laughs> Joel very, Charlie would say very that. Very thin <laughs> hair. You know what I mean? Very and I well. just remember I was crawling on the ground when I wrote that song, and that was so nice. Of Linda Perry wrote that with me, and we. It, 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 it's, it's beautiful. It's a yeah. true, the world true song. That song, Especially then. today, oh don't we? Yeah. The world is oh on fire. Gosh. The it world is, just... is underwater. The world is, yeah. So do you know when you're releasing the EP? I yet? don't know. I'm still recording the EP. Okay. But I've been like little things Good on, like you. the little things yeah. like a couple of nights ago, I released a little snippet from one of the new songs on mm. um, Instagram just to like give my fans a little taste of what's coming. Oh, we gotta, we gotta yeah. find out. Well, that. you can keep up with Cree on Twitter and Instagram at I am Cree Summer. Um, yeah. You have to how, you have to let us know how you can get it and when you can get oh, it. Oh, when because... it comes out, I'm sure I'll have the biggest oh. mouth about it. I'll That's fantastic. shout it from the rooftops. I'm so yeah. glad. I am glad that you're too. putting out new music. I'm excited to make music again. I took a break. My daddy died. I got knocked up and had two babies and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, music has always been so elusive for me. That has not been an easy journey for me. Yeah. It's been a delightful journey, mm -hmm. but I think I've had probably my greatest disappointments musically. Yeah. You know, and so, you know, we were talking about getting stopped. I think that's the, the place in yeah. my life where I got to really work hard to keep it going. You yeah. Know? Well, it, it, you know, the music is biz is tough. tough, man. But it's changed. It's changed I mean, dramatically. It, it, this is the best time for it. It really mm -hmm. is because it's almost like you're in charge. You are in charge. Yeah. It's the Nobody wild, else going to do shit west. for you today. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those record yeah. companies that do you remember? Oh, yeah. I mean, they were like, it was like yeah, going to God. It was like going to God. Yeah. Going to God's mm -hmm. office. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then God would give you some money and then you'd owe it back. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now. And you'd owe back every fucking thing. Yeah. And now, <laughs> you know? and now it's like, here's a here's $1,000. Yeah. Go buy Pro Tools, record a record, record and come a whole back. record and, and make a music video. Yeah. And, and make all the back. proceeds. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's crazy. And beautiful. have a YouTube channel. And have a YouTube and channel. Listen, yeah. this is the time to be a creative, mm -hmm. the time to be a performer. Even fuck it, don't be creative. This is a time to have an opinion. Yeah. yeah. You can get it out there. Yeah. yeah. You know, for good or bad. And people will listen. For good you or will evil. have yeah. a fan base. You will get followers. Absolutely. Yes, there's yes. a crazy lid for the crazy fucking pot. The crazy <laughs> lid forever. Yes, My yes. grandmother always said that. Every pot has a lid. And ain't it the truth with the internet. So at this point in your life where you sit, what are you most passionate about? I'm try I, I think I'm most passionate about learning how to take care of my body. Mm. Uh, I'm getting older now. Uh, I'm a mother of two very small girls, Brave, Little Wing, and Hero Peregrine Stormborn. They are mm. six and four. So being a good mother. I have a beautiful husband and a good, such a good partner. Very handsome husband. No, he's, a, he's a fine young I've thing. I've seen some pictures yeah, of that man. Yeah, he's a fine young <laughs> thing. That's my, my young like stuff. Mine. That's my yeah, young stuff. Yeah, I'm like, hey, why can't I look like that? <laughs> yeah, damn. Right. You know, just learning how to be a good mother. I think when you're young, you know, I, I, you know, I just abused myself with so many drugs and so many different things. And you get a little older and you really have to just learn how to be a little more gentle with your body. I Say with the hangover yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hangover. contradictions all over the place. Yeah, but it was but an accident that you drank so much last night. It was an accidental hangover. My intentions yeah. were good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's what I'm concentrating on the most is probably and to not be uh, to not be angry. So angry, it's so hard. We have such an awful president that it's hard not to be mad all the time mm -hmm. or, or feel a sense of injustice all the time to white knuckle yeah. his entire presidency. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm spinning, exerting a lot of energy trying to just maintain yeah, you can't, a positive can't take it all feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's all—it's so easy to be a depressed country, yeah. collectively, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's so hard to not have that seep into your consciousness yep. when everybody is going fucking crazy. Yep. There's that. Yep. And the next thing I'm doing is really making a lot of music and loving it, mm, and so and cool. loving it, and spending time with my sisters. I've got a, an amazing, a, a, an amazing group of women that I've befriended, and I, I really 
giving a lot of time to my friendships. I got great mm -hmm. friendships. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's probably where all my... I love it. Yeah. Love the it. things that are important. That's we, always, we call The things that are important yeah. to Cree today are the things that are important. There you go. Yeah. I the chosen love families, because we're away from our families, you know, and it's... Absolutely. And families are you get to shit choose. nuts. Isn't it nice when you <laughs> yeah. get to pick your own? It really is. It I nice. mean, we, yeah. my, 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 my <laughs> friend, who's also my makeup artist, Nia, today we were just talking about family secrets and how mm. there is no Telemundo that can match real life. Yeah. You know, yeah. or any soap opera that even yeah. remotely even touches how yeah. fucking crazy people yeah. are. I know. You know yeah. what I mean? Like people are crazy, man. I Completely. know that's a reality show. You <laughs> Cree, can't... this is your last this question. Oh no, the for mystery the day. question you can pick okay. from anywhere. Oh, I love this. Pick a card story. and read it in your favorite. Let's do it as uh, as Foxy. Oh, uh, Defoxy. Oh. I don't even know if Defoxy can read. Oh, she can read. <laughs> All right, here we go. If she, are you going to answer <gasps> as Defoxy? If you could design and build a room of your very own. The fox didn't know who Virginia Woolf is. If you could design and build a room of your very own, what would it be like? Okay, because that's Virginia Woolf always said, a woman has yeah. to have a room of yes. her own, right? One of yes. my favorite quotes of hers. Yes. Um, what would my room be like? It'd be full of lots of plants. I mm -hmm. am crazy for plants, bringing outside, inside. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have to have lots of windows because I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> and, um, a good air filter. Yes. It'd have to have an amazing sound system so I could blast music that I adore. Yeah. Uh, and it would have to be soft and cozy. I am I love to lounge. Like the walls? Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Uh, I mean, Chad, Cushy. come on, this the foxy love oh, a velvet. The foxy love a velvet wall. Oh, yeah. The foxy love a, a wall you can pit. Um, <laughs> but I would have to have, you know, like lots of soft, yes. cozy things you could recline in. And... Uh, yeah, and and it have to be lots of water because again, I do like this my way. Yeah, I think it would just and it would have to be a creative room. Maybe have some guitars, a piano, yeah. um, a microphone, For something sure. that I could tape record mm -hmm. myself. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and it would have to. I probably have to have a phone in there because I, yeah. I could call my girls and sure. you know, talk shit. Yeah, do a powwow. Do a powwow. Yeah. Oh. Well, I have to Love say. It. That you always say that you're a freak. Yes, I say God bless, are, God bless the gods. God bless the freak. The freak a, shall inherit the you, earth. That's absolutely. And yes. you yes. are a beautiful freak. Thank you. I have to say. Thank you. The you queen. are so Thank beautiful, you. so kind, so sweet, so unbelievably talented. Thank you. Our fans out there have been going crazy for us to have you on our show, and finally we did it. Cree Summer. I'm we so are happy to be so here. Thank you. Happy to have you. Yes. Thank it's you. Such a pleasure. You guys are delightful. Thank you so Love much. You. I, I always trust people who have a lot right? of sh a lot of fucking joy. <laughs> Power to the bling. Power to the bling, ladies Free and gentlemen. Free summer, you guys. Thank Yay. you, you guys. You got it. We'll see you guys next time. Yes. Bye. Chow mein, motherfucker. <laughs> Chow mein. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Cree Summer, and this is Hero Peregrine Stormborn. And we just got buzzed with Stacy and Chuck. God bless the freaks. Mwah. What do you want to say? Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, I got five syllables. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's a goddess. Unbelievable. She's just a goddess and the greatest, most wonderful human being. Cree Summer, Adore we her. love you. We hey, love we hope you guys got a lot of great stuff from getting to meet Cree and all of her madness. Um, we love you guys. So we're going to be back next week with another episode. So check stay it tuned. out. Yes, and keep up with us and Cree on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. And just remember. You, you always have time for a little fun. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. The O Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voice of a demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosthatrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.